Yay, we surpassed 100 subscribers. We did. We want to say thank, thank you. you, guys. That means we got our custom URL. Too. We did. YouTube.com slash C slash those, those annoying, annoying vegans. vegans. We did it, and it's all thanks to you guys. So thank you for thank subscribing. You. you have lobs now. We have lobs. We're pro. And we are. Those what? <laughs> Sorry. What? No, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, yeah, okay, 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 we took the old-fashioned meatloaf. Old-fashioned, let me re-emphasize. Old. Old-fashioned as an antiquated. Antiquated meatloaf. We took the meat out, replaced it to create our meatless loaf. We returned to a brand that has become very popular in this kitchen. One that we like a lot, Beyond Meat. Yes. We use their beefless crumbles. They're made with pea protein, and if your grocery store does not carry Beyond Meat, first of all, write to them. You can write to them. We did. We wrote to our local Trader Joe's last week about a vegan cheese product we wanted to see on their shelves and actually got a call from the store manager today. Uh, more on that in a later video as the story unfolds. That's right. But if they don't have Beyond Meat, there's tons of vegan options out there for you. And we mix the beefless crumbles with lentils, cooked lentils. Mm. So good. But feel free to use your favorite bean. It will taste just as delicious. We also used almond milk, but if you have a nut allergy, just opt for one of the many, many non-dairy milk substitutes out there, such as quinoa milk, hemp milk, soy milk. What's the other one I'm missing? Rice milk. Yeah, the list goes on and on. And we replaced the egg this time with applesauce. Mm. And we're so hipster that we made our own applesauce. We put an apple in a blender. That's what we did. Yeah, pretty simple, <laughs> but that's what it is. You can actually check out PETA's website. They have a whole page dedicated to egg replacement. So depending on what you need the egg to do, whether you're cooking or baking or whatever, they have a whole list of egg replacements. You yeah. should check it out. And lastly, we discovered a new product a few months ago that we were just crazy about. It's called liquid smoke. If you don't yes. have liquid smoke in your spice cabinet, add it now. Get Anything it. you put it in is going to have this wood-burning, hickory, smoky taste. The taste of burning wood, which is vegan, by the way. <laughs> yes, it is vegan. And, and as always, oh, we got it. a little excited. <laughs> we wanted to cut into this meatless loaf right away. So when we cut into it, it was a little hot. Uh, it was a little soft. But as you let it cool, the ingredients will adhere a little bit better. And as always, our recipes are delicious, affordable, and easy to make. So let's make it. Let's make it.
can see that when I cut it now, ta-da, it's a whole slab. That's right. Perfect. Whoa! So guys, after a lot of research, careful consideration, and a new update, mm -hmm. a very important update regarding the super meat movement, we have decided to take on the garlic challenge. Garlic challenge. Following in the footsteps of Gary Yurofsky and Mango Mama. A couple of you guys have been really, really active on the YouTube page, really supportive. Yeah. So we're going to challenge you. We know you're watching. So Cali Vidala, Goody Two Shoes, we challenge you to take the garlic challenge. You have to eat one clove of garlic. Raw. Whole. Raw. I'm kind of excited about this. I love garlic personally. <laughs> you want to go for it? Cheers. Here we go. Cheers. To super meat. To super meat. Okay. Mm. Wow. Mm. Okay, that's not, really strong. Not as bad as I thought. That's a lot stronger than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, really it's hot on your tongue. Yeah, it's spicy. Like you bite into it and it's like a spice, like a hot pepper or something. Mm. <sighs> mm -hmm. Okay. That's good. That was a pretty big clove. I gave you a bigger clove than I gave me. <laughs> Here is why we support Super Meat. This is why. Hold on, don't freak out just yet. <laughs> just give it a what? second. Vegans because... freak out? <laughs> Never. <laughs> I freak out all the time. <laughs> Our goal is animal liberation, Yeah. correct? The company's entire vision is to not harm animals. We won't eat it, it's still animal flesh. We it's... vegans of the world, we know that you don't need animal products. I asked Kobe Barak how the harvesting was going to work, how many animals are needed, uh, how often would they be needed, most importantly. He actually gave me a link to a video and we'll play it. How many times do we need to take a biopsy? Only once. Our cells are essentially immortal. They will grow forever, feed the entire world from a single biopsy. Now granted, a single biopsy is probably not a good idea, uh, we will need three to five single biopsies from single animals just to have the diversity in case something goes wrong in the process. But the animals should not be harmed. Why? Because a biopsy uses a, a hollow needle and you take a small amount of the tissue under local anesthesia so there is no pain to the animal itself and then essentially you put a band-aid over it. Um, now, biopsies of internal organs like, like, like the liver or the pancreas are, can be dangerous because you can damage a large blood vessel, but we are not taking a biopsy from the liver or the pancreas or anything like it. We are taking a biopsy from the external part of the chicken, so it's just like a scratch. Now, I have to tell you that I am trying to look at a way to take uh, cells from a plucked feather. We think that this might be possible because of the base of the feather will contain the cells that we need, but we are not 100% certain it's possible, so I can't make any promises, but I can tell you that I'm going to look into it. So a lot of vegans are saying, well, yes, we want animal liberation, but we need to do it via the route of compassion, opening yeah. people's eyes. We need to change everyone's mind. We need to change minds. It's like trying to get all of the Joker's henchmen who have committed all these crimes and, and they're locked up in prison or they're in Arkham Asylum, trying to get them to change by way of getting them to care about the law. And the fact is, is that this is a group of people that obviously don't care don't about the care. law. This is a way to get meat eaters off of eating meat the way that meat is eaten now. This is a shortcut. It gets those people over here. Nothing's keeping you from continuing to educate on compassion, but no. let's get these animals out of the slaughterhouses. But you're still using animals. You're still using five yes, chickens and those five chickens. Just go watch Earthlings again right. and remind yourself this is a much better alternative. Much better. As a vegan, picture yourself going into an animal slaughterhouse and telling the chickens and telling the cows and telling the pigs, we're just going to wait until people start caring. So we're going to just continue as normal until we can get all these meat eaters to just change their minds overnight. They'd be like, what the f- We would be doing a disservice to the animals if we right. threw this idea out the window, tell me what massive societal change in our history has happened overnight. 
Right. This is called incrementalism. Yes. Thank you, Tira. I'm so addicted to that word now because it's true. Baby steps. The thing about the super meat that I'm hoping will happen is that it'll actually open people's eyes to how ridiculous the whole thing actually is. Yeah. <laughs> like, we're going so far as to artificially create animal muscle tissue in a petri dish just to satisfy a flavor. A flavor that you can get in a meatless loaf. Yeah. As we have shown. We will always support plant-based foods. We will always, always educate on compassion, but we also believe in stepping stones. We believe that super meat is a stepping stone. It is. My focus needs to be on the animals. They don't have very many choices right now. And they don't have a voice. And they don't have a voice. So we are their voice. We are the voice. And I will defend them until I die. Animal suffering will end sooner than people change. True. <laughs> That's the point of super meat. Beep, beep, beep. Right? Oh, that's a lovely purr. Oh, do, 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 do. that's the good stuff. Mm. Steal the basis. Aria. Oh, come oh, here. Oh, basis. basis. Oh, oh, that's lovely. Un rico basis. Oh, oh that's so nice. Oh, that's good.